Hello and welcome back to the second episode of a random playthrough of Conquest of Elysium 5, playing through with the Dryad Queen here. And uh, so far, in the first episode, I would say that we have started out fairly nicely. Uh, let's see if we can continue where we left off. Now I'm kind of looking to get some... Uh... Ah, look at us, nice. I'm kind of looking to get some uh, more sacred groves. And we should be able to get this uh, Cataphrag Commander here, which will give us access to, well, uh, Centaurs. Which will be quite handy. Uh, we did get ambushed here, but as long as in boss. Oh, we didn't actually get ambushed, we, we attacked them. My bad. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take Statorio here and just uh, keep claiming up a little bit of forest and whatnot. We could probably take on these Hoburgs here, actually. If I'm honest, there shouldn't really be that much of a problem. We do have an entire front line of moose, which should trample through these guys fairly easily. And then we can maybe take this ancient forest here, get the uh, herb income from it, and also uh, stop that from spawning out more animals. Which, uh, positive and negative, we don't have to worry about it. Uh, summoning up more stuff, at least then, but it also doesn't spawn in animals that we can then capture for ourselves. Although Naturiana isn't necessarily the best for that anyway. And if I could upgrade her, uh, or find somewhere to give her a bit more spells, that would be nice. There's a few spells that I wish I had on her. Anyway, I think we just... Take that forest right there, and then we just attack the ancient forest, start claiming the other forests and swamps around here, and then kind of take it from there. But, oh, do we not have enough iron for that, actually? We do not. So we could have gotten this guy had we had a little bit more iron. We need seven more iron. He would give Centaur spawn boost plus one, which, uh, not entirely sure how that works, but you'll definitely get more than one Centaur per year from having this guy. Basically, he would unlock Centaur spawning to begin with, and then cake on a little bonus on top of that. So, well, we're just gonna have to wait until we can get some more iron on our hands. In seven turns, we should be able to recruit any of these commanders that might appear. Uh, some of them do cast only five iron, which uh, I hope we get our hands on one of those, one of the Minotaurs. So, let's see how this battle went down. Wait, do they have a castle? Ah, I didn't notice that. I'm so tiny, it's hard to tell what's what. Uh, it's got bark skin and tangled wine. So, it's not really... Not really all that. Should be able to just kind of stomp through these guys. Might lose a couple of moose in the process. Uh, one moose? Yeah, we lost one moose, so it's not too bad. And then we have the ancient forest. And we're just going to keep claiming up more terrain over here. And uh, well, we'll see what comes of it. Materiana, however, I do want to uh, send into this ancient forest there and turn it into a sacred grove. Hmm. Tomohiko de Bakemono has been eliminated. The last commander was slain by Convictolitanus the Druid. So that's two Bakemono players, I believe, at this point, that has been removed, and we then have seven AIs remaining. Uh, there's a recruitment offer for another Sator commander, which, uh, I don't know, maybe, but they are a dime a dozen, so I'm not really too keen on them, if I'm honest. That being said, let us keep claiming area. Oh, look at that, This uh, these face spiders. We might want to deal with them, actually. Now I'm going to send this guy a little bit away from them, so he doesn't get attacked. I just have to see what those face spiders do. I might want to actually remove them. Uh, as you can see, Diamond Dust. There's not a safety command available already, so... Anyway, what we're going to do is uh, create Sacred Gove. And pow, we have two Sacred Goves right next to each other. 
And then I want to turn this ancient forest here into a sacred grove as well, so that if someone takes these citadels, we still have this as a citadel. And we could maybe turn this into a sacred grove as well. We have very good herb income uh, for so early in the game, and we are gonna work on further improving that. And I think we attack those face spiders. Probably it's gonna cost us a little bit, but uh, just to get rid of them, really. And I hope there's nothing around here spawning in more of them. Horsemen! Close to a coal mine. That's bad news. Yeah, so the problem with these guys is that they're displaced. The displaced unit seems to be at a slightly different location than it really is. The effect is greater the further away the onlooker is. The effect provides great prote uh, protection from ranged attacks, especially if the attacker is really far back, but only slight protection against melee attacks. It offers no protection from large area attacks or mental attacks. So they have some hit points, they have some armor, and we're probably losing uh, pretty much everything on the front line here. Well, not really, but... It certainly ain't gonna be good for us, this battle. Um, so we want to get some more units for this guy, for sure. Yeah, pretty much lost over half his army. Uh, but that's okay, we'll, uh, we'll get him some new units soon enough. Just a good thing to get rid of that. So actually, let's send him back for that specific purpose. There's eight brigands, sir. Uh, which I think he should be able to take on, if I'm honest. We have a bow. Staff. Yeah, we're gonna take on those guys. And just to be extra safe, we'll add in this extra commander here, just in case something goes bad. And the Turiana can't really do anything. We drained two entire turns of her with six AP um, cast to creating a sacred grove here. These uh, are not horsemen, but cavalrymen over here. I really hope they don't take a coal mine. That would be unfortunate, because then we kind of have to go and retake it. It's our only source of iron right now. So there should be a win. Of course, we might lose quite a bit, but yeah. We did lose another moose, but it's fine. It's fine. The animals are easy to come by with this uh, with this faction right there. And I think I'll send Statorio well, down to the ancient forest soon enough. But there's a few things I want to take, like more forests and such, with him first. So Natoriana here can actually do maybe a couple of major summonings, and then hand over some of these units to. Uh, Actually, we'll do three. We have exactly 300 herbs. That means we can just spam out this, uh, this turn here. A bit unfortunate to get uh, woodmen. The slow, I don't really like them that much. The more suited for stationary defense in my book. Uh, might want to deal with those cavalry men, but it isn't something we necessarily are too well poised to do right now. We do have uh, quite a few units starting to spawn up in a sacred grove here over time. We can choose to do something with. This guy we should choose to do something with. Satyr commander for 50, hoplite commander for 46. Now the thing is, the hoplite commanders, um, well, they're basically satyrs as well. So, And they give less satyr spawn boost, but they are stronger. They have a little bit more armor, a little bit more hit points, I believe. Yeah, so, well, they have the same amount of armor, um, but, I don't know, uh, they're not really that good. A diamond doesn't, really. So, oh, hello, okay. Stonehenge, hmm. I think that can make springs last longer, and winter short or something. Uh, which could really be good for us, as winter really depletes our uh, herb income. Uh, that being said, we're gonna leave behind these um, woodsmen here. They can just guard this sacred grove, I suppose. And other than that... Well, we, we already... There's already uh, 10 satyrs available here. So, okay, okay. What we're gonna do then is... Um, we can afford to spend a little bit of gold on satyrs. I think we'll do satyr javelin is sir. And there. 
have Satyrion move in here and he can just pick up these Javelinists and the other guys. And he'll take the Moose as well. And I'll let him have the Bears, I suppose. What's the range of this Javelin? Range 3. Okay, so if we have a front line with Javelins right behind them as soon as these... As soon as the enemies get to the front line, well, thing is, these aren't fast. Are they battle fast? Yeah, okay, so they can keep up with the uh, fast bears. Well, the bears actually aren't fast, but the moose are fast. Either way, they can keep up with that. Ah, well, if the bears aren't fast, let's just leave them for Naturiana for now. So she has a little bit more of a solid force with her. And then we're going to go up here and uh, or out in this direction and deal with the... The cavalry man. I want to take that stone hand as well, to be honest. Midwinter, turn two. Oh, sorry, year two. Minotaur Lord for 68 gold. That's a hell year for me. And we just have enough iron as well. So thank God those cavalry men did not take a coal mine. Now, if you look at this guy, 34 hit points, 3 armor. Not so good magic assistance, but. It's got a battle axe doing 1 to 18 damage and gore doing 1 to 19, uh, sorry, 1 to 9 damage. He's got trample, berserker ability, which a unit with the berserker ability will go berserk if it is hit in combat. Going berserk grants a plus 1 strength bonus, a plus 10 morale bonus, and the ability to continue fighting even with negative hit points. Negative hit points cannot exceed 20% of the normal maximum number of hit points, so this guy can go like seven hit points negative before he dies and he unlocks minotaur spawns so we're definitely getting that now i'm a little bit reluctant to say that we should get more sato javelinists but we are gonna do that though just to bolster this guy's uh, rank so what is this festering wound okay this moose is gonna die soon uh, that's just how it is Gonna call this guy Thorax, the Minotaur Lord. Now we're just gonna put him on stationary or sentry duty in the Sacred Grove so that we can start spawning Minotaurs, which are really powerful units. So let's see, activate special location, not possible right now. We'll see if we can next turn, if I can figure out exactly what that does as well. Uh, maybe we can get another Sator uh, commander down here. Oh no, we can't. It's not a sacred grove yet. Uh, so that's something we need to look into a little bit more. Making more sacred groves. Uh, this guy's pretty much taken what he should take from here. And he can also roll over here and pick up uh, more javelinists. And we'll just leave the harpies here for now. How many actual satyrs? So seven satyrs. So next turn... We could make more Sator Javelinists, although it is a bit wasteful to spend gold on this right now, as I would much rather get Commanders if I could. The spring is here. Can we activate this now? Yeah, the summers will now be longer. My god, we're just... This this uh, spawn area has been so good to us. Summers give us increased, uh, increased herb income, so making them one turn longer, and then... Also, I think it just kind of steals a turn from the winter, which on the, in the winter we make a lot less herb income, or income. This is great. Wow, it really... The only thing that could be better right now is if we also had access to a magic library of some sort. Uh, let's gonna, we're gonna go down and see if we can't deal with these horsemen or cavalrymen over here. So I'm messing up a little bit with the English here. Uh, we got Cloud of Confusion, which I'm going to definitely switch on for this. There's a Tyrion over here. We'll uh, get some more Sator Javelinists and uh, bring them with them. And look at that, we already have a Minotaur. I think you can take the Minotaur. Ah, we'll save the Minotaurs for later. Let's get a few more of them in an army group together and uh, make sure we have a little bit more punch to them. Gonna start exploring out this way with this guy claiming this coastal hamlet and seeing what's up in this area. Maybe we should consider going for actually one of these ancient forests as well. 
It's just, it's got these poison damage bastards, so Not necessarily so bad, but... There's some good data. If we could have some range units. Uh, but we... That's a bit hard to do. We need centaurs. If we get centaurs, we can attack these from a distance. Uh, with bows outside of their range and hopefully take very limited casualties doing so. Uh, for that to happen though, we first need to get at least one centaur commander and then uh, for that centaur commander to um, be just kind of sitting idly by a little while so you can spawn it up. Uh, okay, yeah, so maybe we retreat with this guy here. Uh, I don't want to lose the Stonehenge. I don't know how that works. I don't want to lose the commander either for that matter. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll just have to see. I'm thinking we could do a ritual of mastery. Call of Gaia. This ritual must be cast in a place of power and it calls upon one or a few of the best units available to serve the Dryad Queen. The more sacred the location is, the more uh, powerful the units that answer may be. Can only be cast in ancient forests and any sacred grove. A bit expensive though, so it's like, but we're gonna get some powerhouse units out of it. Could be worth it. Sorry, I had to mute myself for a second there. Um, I'm a bit sick at the moment, so sometimes I have a little bit of a coughing attack. And I just had one right there, but we're taking on this coastal hamlet though. And uh, hopefully this guy can get away from her. Oh, well, maybe we can get an idea of what this guy's up to. I'm not sure if he deactivates. Oh, oh, look at that. Strange mist is appeared. The entire continent is covered by this thick obscuring mist and it's almost impossible to know where you're going. That's unfortunate. But it's going to fade away at least. So we go in here, trying to confuse some of these over to my side, but instead I confused the two bears over to the enemy side. And as a result, I lost them. So I think we turn off this cloud of, uh, cloud of confusion. It's way too hit and miss, and that was a massive miss right there. Coastal Hamlet, no casualties. Just very avoidable casualties there. Uh, so that kind of sucks a little bit. Now, it's a bit hard to tell what this is. It could be... This could be any human faction. It probably necessarily isn't barren. Uh, it's hard to tell. This, this very generic units. But hopefully it didn't touch the Stonehenge. Yeah, we'll see. So there was some... Uh... Wait a minute, so... Summon Wolf instead of Cloud of Confusion. I just... Yeah, I don't want to lose more of my good units due to stuff like that. And there we go. That's a Captain with some Swy Handers. Actually, if we had Confusion here, we could maybe capture some of these guys. Maybe even the Captain. Uh, I'm gonna risk it for the Biscuit. Let's see how it goes. Don't really need Befriend Animal in this fight. So there's a bit of micromanagement you can do between fights with spells, and that's that's true for most spell um, casting classes. But I find in uh, with uh, with the Dryad Queen, I kind of like to do that more than I like to do it with other classes. Let's see how we doing here with units. Uh, only one minute or still, but more will appear soon enough. Uh, Vindfarna, the Cloud Lord, has been eliminated. The last commander was slain by Hippomachos, the Warlord. The uh, Warlock, I mean. Uh, can we get some Cloud of Confusion on the enemy? Okay, nice. I would like the Captain to be confused, so maybe we can get him over to our side. See, these wolves are... I should not have the wolf thing on. I should have the friend animal instead, actually, because at least then... Wouldn't be wasting time casting these wolves. See, they're not, they, they haven't done anything, these wolves. Just a waste of time. If I had the friend animal, that would be useless in this battle. So actually, she just wouldn't cast it. 
instead of casting that damn summon wolf crap. Uh, but we're running a little bit low on um, units in this army here now. Which is something we can hopefully remedy fairly soon. I think we're going to take the Misty Forest here and turn that into a Sacred Grove as well. Just so we have a third Citadel and Sacred Grove that can spawn up more uh, Satyrs for us. At the very least. Oh, we got Ambushed here. Uh, hopefully. And I don't like how the commanders are separate from everything else when you get ambushed. Uh, but hopefully he will survive. I mean, he does have two armor, and the bow attack of the uh, bandit cell is not really that strong. So it should be fine. I'm hoping it will be fine, at least. Yeah, seemingly it worked out for us. Yeah, could be a lot worse. Uh, no casualties, so all is well that ends well. Now Naturiana here will create a Sacred Grove, and we can maybe wait a couple of turns. She burns two turns doing that, either way. Uh, if we wait another turn after that, then we should be in good position to... I didn't really pay attention to how many summer turns we've had yet, but... I will find out soon enough. Uh, but either way, yeah. We will try to do a um, Call of Gaia in the Sacred Grove here. I should now be starting to spawn out uh, Satos and whatnot. And now it's not so bad if we lose control of one of these for a turn or two. Because we now have three here of these uh, Citadels, the Sacred Groves. I think we should attack this moose. Or these four mooses. Oh, look at that. It's got a ring of infinite gold. Plus five gold per month. <laughs> what? On a moose? Oh, that really makes me want to attack those moose. Uh, so let's do it. One thing is they won't roam around and claim stuff. Oh, they must have actually... Uh, I think what could have happened here is that guy that we saw earlier roaming through here. He might have had that or something. And then these guys he roamed into these guys. Or they roamed into him. And then he lost the fight. And now they have the, the ring. I definitely want plus five gold per turn. Hell yeah. Battle on the plane. Should be an easy win. But yeah, we might take some casualties. However, it's fine. Oh no, we actually didn't. Um, hope we lost the moose though. I guess I'm just an idiot. Anyway, Spoils of War. Ring of Infinite Gold. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What a great find. Alright, either way, with that ring in our hands, maybe we can... Nah, this army will do for now. I'm just gonna go down here and claim some forests. Ooh, damaged face spiders. Never heals. I think we're gonna take this ancient forest right there. Oh, there's a brigand lair over there. We might want to deal with that one as well, so it doesn't spawn out more brigands, but we can do that. That's not the problem. I could probably have more units roaming around. In fact, let's... Um, let's select... Ah, uh, no, nah, I don't want to send around Thorax. I need him there to spawn up Minotaurs, so... Uh, either way... Where are those face spirit or spiders go? I kind of want to kill them so they don't roam around here. If we wait, uh, it's going to be a couple more turns. I think we need to get those the Stonehenge back. Seemingly, it has been deactivated. I'll have to pay attention to that next year, though. Uh, use special power. Well, we could do major animal summoning, I suppose, and call it a day and move out. Ah, yeah, next year we can do Call of Gaia. We'll do a couple of major animal... Oh, these are so trash. I mean, they got pierce resistance and blunt resistance. But they're slow, so I can't move them around with me, because they're going to slow down my army. And just one of them? That's... Wow. Okay, well, this uh, forest here has some defenders in it now, then, I guess. What an absolute disappointment. In addition to uh, 
eight satos to spawn in here already. Holy hell. Well then, uh, we're just gonna leave the satos and uh, woodmen though. And at some point we'll probably get some commanders to kind of traffic units up and gather to, towards armies and, and whatnot. Uh, but right now, things are a bit slow going, but should be fine. Alright, so we can take the ancient force now. Hopefully we don't lose too much shell. Gonna lose some moose, basically. Well, not quite, actually. Lost two Sator Javelinists in the moose. Which, uh, that's fine. Then we have access to another Sator Commander, which I have half a mind to actually just getting right now. I think here would be a good place to do so. Uh, we're gonna take Naturiana and send her further east. I mean west, but we're gonna do one more major animal summoning first, because... Uh, Honestly, that previous one was pretty disappointing. Uh, yeah, we just go out there, take some forests, and uh, see what we can do. We call this guy Trafico. Trafico. Because he's going to be trafficking units back and forth. Um... Well, right now he isn't going to do that so much, actually, but um, probably soon enough. He could be useful. We could get another army going, actually. But we'll wait for a few more units to spawn in here, and uh, we'll go and take the swarm cell with him first, and then kind of take it from there after that. I do want to reclaim this Stonehenge, but let's take the Ancient Forest first. Ah, moose. Well, that's actually a little bit of an issue. Been a battle in ancient forest, which uh, obviously we won. We did lose a moose, though, but uh, that's fine. Centaur commander for 64 gold. We are not going to be shelling out 64 gold for one of those. Um, Maybe like this, so that Moose can't just quickly and easily access the Sato Commander here. And I do want to deal with these Moose, so... Uh, for when that happens, I want to have Enchanted Sleep, Befriend Animal, and Summon Wolf. Saturion, we're going to capture this Brigand Lair here, so that doesn't spawn in more uh, Brigands. And if we can, I mean, we got a pretty sizable forest here in what seems to be a pretty good location as well. So, if we just secure up all this, then we can start expanding with like a good base of operations. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to go and deal with these various animals up here. I should probably just take that, uh, uh, that ancient forest there, so stop spawning animals. Centaur commander for 70 gold, Herophant for 83. Now we're definitely getting this. Um, we can't get both of them, unfortunately. This guy has Centaur Spawn Boost plus 3. This guy plus 2. And this guy happens to be a caster with Forest Magic level 1. Uh, had a little sneeze still, so I had to mute myself. Having the man flu, uh, the man flu is a little bit annoying. Anyway, we're going to get this, so now we can actually start spawning a centaur cell as well. Now let's see what spells we got. Heal and Tangle Wind. So knowing this spell grants increased healing rate for all non-inanimate beings in the army. And it can heal above half of full hit points. Half of off full hit points. That's a longbow. A tangle Wind, it can entangle some units, so... Gonna call him Rocky Lux. And uh, we're just gonna assign him, in fact, to Torax, and we're gonna put them both in sentry duty. And now we should start spawning out both Minotaurs, Satyrs, and Centaurs, and Centaurites from that location, which would be quite nice. Uh, these animals still need to be dealt with. We're gonna take Naturiana and attack her. Maybe get some minor animal summoning and actually try to take on these uh, 
their mushroom cell to just kind of secure up that location. And Trafico will just keep claiming a little bit of the terrain here for herb income. Until further noted anyway. I think we might send this guy back and pick up a little bit of reinforcements. But let's deal with the moose first. And then maybe get that Stonehenge back in our possession. At least there's no more brigands spawning out of hell. Um, okay. Well, that's something we might want to deal with. It's been a battle in the forest. And, well... Yeah, we lost a few units on that one. Um, so she's definitely going to need more units before we attempt attacking. Frozen Sea. A captain. And no real giveaway for what else. This doesn't really seem like a very powerful army. It's, it's a human faction of some sort, but other than that, there's no real giveaways in its army composition. Except for it's most likely not a Baron, given the fact that it does archers and not longbowmen. Um, yeah, let's head down towards that Stonehenge. And then we claim a few more forests on the way back. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, right now, I think special powers, minor, or major animal... Dude, stop with these freaking woodsmen. They're so trash. I, I really don't want them. Also, stop with these summon wolf. I don't know. Maybe a summon wolf is better than Cloud of Confusion. But I, I don't know. She, she could use uh, some new spells, if I'm honest. So if we find a magic library, I'm going to send her over there and try to get her onto some new spells. Uh, not sure what this guy's up to. He came from like off the map, so like he came down from here, it seemed. So maybe there's a frozen sea connecting to land over there or something. It's late winter of year three, though. I guess the enemies move after me, but if he ends turn on the lake, then well, he's gonna lose that uh, that unit right there. Okay, I'm just going to send her over here so she can reach whatever might be in the area. Trafico is going to take more forest tiles. And Satyrion will move down here. Claim that Stonehenge. And let's pass the next stone. Ah, yes, that's fantastic. Uh, Cloud of Confusion could come in handy against those guys. We need to deal with them first. They're our main priority here right now. Uh, well, let's... Do Major Anne summoning first. Okay, that should help us out in a fight against those guys. And then we head over here. So we deal with them. Could use maybe another commander to go and roam around here and deal with these guys. Which, okay. I think Trafico will take one more force tile here. Aha, uh -huh, okay, well, this guard tower here is spawning out um, human-type units. Might want to go and deal with it, but it isn't super high on my priority list right now. If we get some of these satyrs here turned into javelin, javelinists, um, then we could have this guy just roam around with a little army to deal with nu nuisances like the uh, boar over here. A bit reluctant to be spending gold on this right now, as I do want more commanders whenever they pop up, but I will do it. Not possible to activate this right now, I'm not sure if it even is activated at the moment, because it could be. Uh, but yeah, we got some things we want to deal with, which is uh, completely fine. That's uh, kind of how this game is, an old guy. Uh, oh boy, I mean, that guy probably did not expect seeing us though. So, uh, we're about to F him up, basically. I'm gonna use special power for another major animal summoning. Uh, only three wolves. That's quite disappointing. We got 17 units to his 25. Um, I don't know, 
the summon wolves could come in handy, huh, I guess. Yeah, it's going to summon in on the edge of the map and it's going to start messing with his archers. Cloud of Confusion could also actually come in handy, so I'm not too... I don't give too much of a damn if I should confuse some of our own units, although the moose and such... I don't know. Enchanted Sleep, Cloud of Confusion, Summon Wolf. I think we go in with this. Alright, we just kind of need to deal with that guy. And, uh... Summers will now be longer. Yeah, he turned that off because it's... Probably because it's giving me a lot more benefit than it is him. Uh, let's attack these wolves, sir. It's a hamlet that no one has claimed at the moment. Interesting. I do want to get this ancient forest as well. I mean, we already have quite a few, and we have three sacred groves, so it's not like we're not doing uh, well for ourselves. I'm quite happy with ourselves so far. Although this uh, giant crab over here could be an issue. I do want to have a little bit of gold on hand, should there be another Dryad Queen popping up that we could hire at some point, because uh, that will really be beneficial. Now they are quite rare, uh, you probably need some magic libraries for them to really show up. Alright, there we go. She's not summoning any wolves. But okay, we're stomping through, and now you can stop casting confusion because it's just gonna mess me up. Now, now the wolves come in. Now the wolves come in. That's great. We lost two wolves, four moose, and three bear. Uh, three boar, I mean. We did, however, yeah, see this guy, moose. One of our moose turned on our own and killed two of our own units. So, we lost the moose to it being turned, and then in addition to that, that moose killed too, so basically from us confusing our own moose, we lost three units. Yeah, I think I'm gonna quit on that confusion, it's uh, starting to bother me a little bit. If I'm being honest. Another thing that bothers me is that these are slow. Yeah, screw confusion, uh, we'll, go su we'll go summon wolf, befriend animal, and enchant sleep. And anytime I can get a new spell, I will. So we take back these hamlets. Attack that, and then we go into this forest, they'll start summoning up some units, I think, and then take on this ancient forest, because this is starting to become a little bit annoying to have to deal with. Battling plane, how did that go again? Did we lose anything? No. Alright, good. So, oh, there's more face spiders, let's just, uh, let's just uh, clear off them for now. There's a village there, I'm pretty sure if, even if there is something in it, we can just go and take it. And we have traffic over here. Send him over here, pick up a few units, and kind of join the fray over here, I'd say. Uh, let's see what's up in our first sacred goal. Ah, so we got a centauride. More will appear in the future. We got some minotaurs. Which uh, we can turn into minotaur warriors. Unless we find a city where we can upgrade them to some more powerful stuff. But it seems like... Um, this is a early uh, society, so um, civilized places like magic libraries and cities, which uh, are what's going to be allowing you to improve your units and spellcasters drastically with this class, will probably have a hard time finding. And the trade off is, and it's a good one I'd say, is that we're getting a lot of these ancient forests. Which for us are just great to have. The downside to them is that they can be burned down. If the enemy has a pyromancer or like a fire warlock or something like this. Uh, well, he could burn a forest down. Which would not be good for us. But uh, well, time will tell if that's going to be the case. I'm hoping of course that it won't be. Uh, with that however, I think I'm going to end this episode here. And we will continue in the next one so i hope you enjoyed watching it and if you did i would appreciate if you might want to consider leaving a like on it and maybe even subscribing to my channel either of those things would be greatly appreciated either way regardless of whether or not you decide to do so you can catch me in the next episode have a good one